We received a call on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline where a tree became a domestic point of contention between mother and son. Here, listen to the call. Hi, I would like to know to what height your little tree grows. I have a big tree next to my house and uh, my son wants to cut it down and I love it. So please call me back and let me know because I'm upset about cutting the tree. (laughs) Thank you. I think she has a juniper virginiana, also uh-huh. known as eastern red cedar. Right. Um, that Teresa, right, Julio, Teresa, we tried yes. to get a hold of you, Teresa. I need to, you know, call yeah. us a call back. Julio is trying to to give you some information. Uh, so hopefully you're listening today. Tell your son to leave the tree alone. <laughs> if you like right. it. Keep it. Just maybe prune it up instead of cutting it down and then all of a sudden having this big gap or having this missing missing plant. Or even worse, now you have a stump and you want to plant something nice around it, but the stump's there. So if if you can, you can you can keep it. You can also limb it up a little bit and just instead of keep thinking it as like a, a juniper tree think of it as the type of tree it is it's an evergreen that casts some shade on the house and helps your cooling bills how about that yeah uh again if it's a again an eastern red cedar uh it's funny growing up and that uh, at my parents house that they had eastern red cedar on their property they are a um they grow wild all over New Jersey, certainly the this area of the Delaware Valley and the tri-state area of New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, they just grow wild. Uh, and I think they're a beautiful tree. They're going to get to be about this, this tr- juniper, probably 12 to 24 foot tall, about uh, even taller. Uh, it can get wide, probably about 10 to 20 feet wide. But a lot of times they stay a little more narrow than that, and they're a little more open. It's not necessarily they're tight like it's been sheared. Uh, So, again, this plant, if you love it, keep it. Keep it. Um, Have you ever heard of cedar apple rust? No, I haven't. It's a weird thing that happens when you have an apple tree near one of these eastern red cedars. Okay. And and you, you'll think this is cool, Aaron. They get this like almost star gelatin feeling growth on the plant that it actually occurs. And, and it's just, again, it's just, it's, it's bizarre. And it's called cedar apple rust. And it's a common problem with many junipers. And it's not like you can't really say it's a disease or an insect or anything like that. It's just one of those weird things in nature. And I know that ours used to get them at our house. Yeah, I was like, what the heck is that? Or- it's orange. What is that? And it was cedar apple rust. Did you prune it all off of there? Or nah. Just let it go? Nah, we just let it go. Okay. Now, for those of you listening, here's a little, I guess this is a, a, a little... Uh, it would not phonics lesson. This would be a, a lesson in Latin. Botanical names of plants. They often give away how big they'll grow, what color they are, and their botanical name. Now, like for instance, we're gonna we're gonna use Picea pungens glauca nana globosa. Mm-hmm. Picea, the first name. Okay, Picea is spruce. Picea pungens, the pungens part is Colorado spruce. Picea pungens glauca, glauca is the key here. Glauca is, means blue, Colorado blue spruce. Picea pungens glauca nana is a dwarf Colorado blue spruce. Anybody following me? Mm-hmm. Picea pungens glauca nana globosa is a dwarf globe Colorado blue spruce. That's a mouthful. It is, but globosa means it's going to be globe-shaped. Nana means dwarf. Mm-hmm. I guess for our Italian customers, it means grandmother. Right? <laughs> anyway, but nana means a, a dwarf, slower-growing, 
Um, and glauca means blue. Now, here's some other tricks of the trade. When you see in the botanical name aurea, it's usually gold or golden or has golden attributes. Rubra, red. red. Rubra is always red. And vertus is green. So it's one of those things where it'll give you some clues in the botanical name of how it's going to grow. So again, we go back to like the first name is like our last name. And, and the second part of the name is, you know, maybe our surname. Like Julio, in H- Hispanic families, mm-hmm. that sometimes they use the mother's maiden name and the father's maiden name. That's correct. Yeah. Right? Both. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that where it's kind of this way where Picea pungens is like the the mother and the parentage right. of the plant that makes it. That's why it's a Colorado spruce. And again, Glauca is a description. It's blue. Nana is a description. It's dwarf. Globosa is a description that it's globe, that it's round. That's good to know when you walk into the garden center. Yeah. And but, nobody's around. <laughs> you go, what's that <laughs> Nana? What's a Nana? <laughs> right? It's like, what does it mean, Nana? Yeah. Or when it doesn't have it. Oh, yeah. Like, for instance, the Juniper Virginiana, if, if that was purchased, mm-hmm. It's just a juniper Virginiana. It's getting big. Getting big yeah. <laughs> you know, it's going to be, it's the full original parentage um, of the plant and, and the, the original just species only, and it's going to get big. Mm-hmm. So one thing about your, there is a reason for botanical names. Some people say, why is it a waste of time? You know, it's, why do you put that on there? I'm confused by that. But um, for those of us in the know, it, it, it does help identify the plant and it's a descriptor uh, of what it is and how big it's going to get and what color it's going to be. Great lesson. Great lesson in binomial nomenclature. Nomenclature. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> wow. What's his name? Uh, from the 18th century. His name is uh, Carl uh, Linnaeus, I believe, that created the system. Okay. And then, like it goes all the way down to like even the italics mean something. Wow. Yeah. Ridiculous. Have you been studying? I have. (laughs) Can you tell much? (laughs) Wow. Horticultural snob we've been talking about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hear that? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Impress your friends. (laughs) (laughs) 